you know, I don't know if the dead internet theory is true. And I wonder if, like, you know, I listen to people like, uh, maybe like a Joker or like Tim Pool or any of these people. We need red pill uh, content. And well, you know what they it feels good to hear that because it's like, oh, they're in the same boat as me. But it makes me wonder if like that's like really how society is. If like I think that you know, like there's a lot of ragging on females and I yeah, but like they come out with these stories, right? Of a particular situation, and then they just like, you know, oh, this is uh, this is going on, this is bad, blah blah blah. blah. But it's like they kind they kind of make it seem like, and I've done this too. Like, all women are like that, or the general society, the general. Generally, all women are like that. Um, based off of, like, what's going on on the internet. But I'm just wondering, like... You see a lot of people using the internet. But there's way more people not using the internet than using the internet. Because what I'm trying to get at is, like, people put stuff out there because they want to get exposure. They want to get views, clickbait. They want to get revenue. And I'm not saying these people aren't, you know, like Joker or whoever, whoever else talks about this stuff and what's going on with women. Um, there's a there's a many truths to what they talk about, but what I see, it's just like what I see on the internet, and then what I see in real life is like it's almost like night and day. You know, you see women on the internet; they're proud. They got. Um, they're boss women. Um, and I see those in real life too, but. I don't know, man. It's just, I, I, I go to the gym and I see the over-sexualization of women and their bodies. They're all, they're, a lot of them that got, you know, good bodies. They wear halter tops or whatever. They show their midriff. And then they got the, the yoga pants that show every, every detail you don't even need to, like, be, like, looking, creeping. You can just tell. You can just tell by, like, glancing at them for a second. Um, so, like, the, you know, women are definitely... I don't know how promiscuous they are. In, in, in my personal experience... They've been pretty promiscuous with me. I've had I've had a lot of different females in my life. Not recently. Almost recently I kind of feel like an incel. <clears throat> but um and I and it's just like I guess what I'm trying to get at is like I I'm just wondering if like these people I'm listening to if it's really just them gathering a bunch of guys that have been like screwed over and because when I hear like Joker talk about stuff you can kind of hear um, resentment in his voice and I'm listening to um, you know Aaron Clary too you know like there's a bitterness 
like a grudge. There's a grudge in these people's demeanor. <clears throat> I I definitely think that like you have to watch yourself and vet the the. the what I think with women is, if you're going to get in a relationship with them, I think, I think if you're going to get married, you have to protect yourself as much as possible, but before you, before you get married, or live together, or do anything, I think that it's best for you to get to know that person, take your time, you ain't got to take like 10 years or anything like that. Um, but like you, the thing is I think that the, the biggest problem with guys <clears throat> is they get the girl this is, this is what I think happens they get the girl and they probably were enamored by her beauty right And want to be with her intimately all the time. And they, because I've done this, they've ignored red flags. So they ignore red flags. They put up with stuff they normally wouldn't put up with because of how beautiful she is. And listen, we all have red flags, man. And, and the red pill, okay, let me, let me, let me get on with my just some red flags are worse than others. Like, you know what I mean? We all have little red flags, at least. Little red flags, it's like, okay, that's okay. That's a yellow flag. Not a red flag. Red flag is, you know what a red flag would be. Drugs, cheating on you, not a loyal person. Loyalty is crucial for a man. So, um, what was I talking about? I think that it's like a new car. When guys just basically are mostly with a woman because of her looks, that's it. I think that um, it wears off. And then you know, he's not as into her as he was when he first got with her. The honeymoon's worn off. And that's hard because that's hard as a man to keep things interesting and exciting. And um, uh, I don't know. It's like you've been there. It's like. You, you drove that new car so many times, right? And, and, it, and it wears off. So if you're only with the woman based off of how she looks, it's going to wear off. And then you're going to end up getting bored. And you're not going to be as into her physically as you were. And then she's going to feel that because she's going to know that you guys were like into... Like there was that passion. That burning passion you had for each other. But like men, men are the leaders in relationships. We're the leaders. Pretty much every single every single girl that I've ever been with physically, I've had to make the move. I've had to, no woman has ever made the first move on me. So we're the leaders. So when when we're showing lack of interest, that subconsciously to them thinks Oh, he's not into me as much anymore. Um, and I think that she might start at that point, start losing emotional attachment to the guy. I mean, a woman can be com a woman can be completely unemotionally. She could be completely emotionally unattached to a woman for like five years. And the guy wouldn't even realize it because he's totally unaware of the situation. Um, 
But my, my thing is, is, is guys let this happen. And it's hard, man. It's hard. But if you really care about that person other than just looks, you'll want to be intimate more often than just, just based off her looks. Because you get, I don't care. You could be, um, um, you could be a troll guy, like a, like a two and get like a 10 and then that'll eventually get old if you only look at her for looks. Like there's many, many other factors, man. And, and men have to understand it's like, it's peace, it's femininity. It's not just looks. And I think that women need to understand that too. There's a lot of women that need to do inner, inner work. Like major inner work. And I think that it comes from weak men. Their father figure. Lack of father figures. Lack of discipline. Um, a lot of boomers spoiled their daughters. And then now we have to deal with, in our society, a lot of entitled women. Why is that? Because of the men that have done this. Weak men. They did. They were immature in their relationship. I was immature in my relationship, but I got full custody of my kids, and I raised my kids. But a lot of men, uh, I think that, I think, didn't lead the relationships properly. They cheated on their wives, they want to party all the time, you know, not grow up, and not take their family serious. Might be a deadbeat dad back in the day, and abandon their family. What does this do to the daughter? Well, since there's no masculine figure in the life, in her life, she's got to become masculine. You know, and... and It's just like, people have to be, I think people have to get more in tune with self-awareness and understanding themselves and understanding their flaws and trying to better their flaws. You know, back to what I was talking about with, with relationships, with the, with the, is, is the, the man lets that flame burn out and you know, if, if your woman ends up gaining a bunch of weight, now why is that? That's got to be a reflection off of you. Um, maybe she's depressed because she doesn't feel like you're attracted to her no more. So she's eating a bunch of, she's eating her feelings. Um, she's comfortable. You know, I see a lot of couples, both of them are overweight. It's not just, oh, the woman's overweight and the guy's not. It's usually both. Usually the man's overweight too. So they both, you know, they they care more about gluttony than intimacy. And he's the leader. If she's becoming unhealthy, he should say something. You know, he should he should be a leader and and, and, and say it in a, in a gentle way because women, obviously, with with the censorship on here and 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 how women want to be treated equal to men, but they don't online. You say one bad thing about a woman online, oh, you're gonna get banned. You're gonna get censored. You can't say nothing, but you can say whatever you want about man. Look, that's that. That's just so ridiculous. But you, but but these same people who are saying this. Want equality, but then they don't want true equality. True. If women had to step foot, and had to walk in a man's shoes. True. True. Walk in our shoes. They would have been in feminine uh, feminism. Equality in a damn heartbeat. If they had to really walk in our shoes. 
if they couldn't just rely on putting up makeup and you you know using smoke and mirrors to think that they're better than you know to to show off that they're better it's not like we use makeup men don't use makeup but I think in relationships I think that um I think it's the man and then what I see is men get content they get lazy they in a relationship it becomes stagnant repetitive why is this you always want to keep dating your your woman whether she's your wife of 50 years or your girlfriend of two months you have to do stuff together. You have to connect together. You got to be playful. You got to keep that relationship playful, man. You got to keep it fun and playful. You're going to have to deal with seriousness, of course. But you want to keep it fun and playful. Tickle her. Go up behind her when she's cooking. Give her a hug. Mess with her, you know. Use your game. Uh, make her laugh. Uh, and a lot of guys if they kept bettering themselves instead of like it's just like they're bettering themselves they meet her and then all of a sudden it's just like they start going back down now if they kept bettering themselves and improving themselves and being strong most women I don't think they're gonna go anywhere. There's still there's still things of them cheating, of course. But if you're if you ask a woman what she wants in a man, the needs, what's her actual needs, her her desires, ask this stuff. And then try to be it and try to Try to fill those things that she desires. So you don't have to worry about her going to another man. Um, I don't know. I don't know, man. It's it's weird. Our society is going in. A, it's a weird spot. You don't know. We don't know where we're going. I, what I do know is we're not stable. I mean, we're stable, but the future looks un, unclear, like ex, extremely unclear. Everything seems normal, besides high prices and, and stuff like that. But everything else, you know, you hear about World War Three, nukes. Dude, there's always been that threat, man. There's always been that threat. Um, but it's 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 like if you, I'm wondering if we go if we really if you really are bettering yourself. But it's just like that you have to keep, you know, moving forward. The thing is, is, is finding a woman that will want to build. And, and this is the problem in our society. And this is because of the boomers haven't have completely spoiled their, their daughters financially. They pretty, a lot of them, not all, but a lot of them bought their love with with material possessions instead of actually like being there for them like this whole thing with boomers is like I never missed a day of work really so you went to work sick and you want you want to get everyone else sick because you didn't want to miss one day of work really oh you you didn't want to call in for one day because you wanted to go see like your kids event and that you were scheduled that day 
you couldn't call off. See, that's what I'm saying is they decided to work. They sold out because they, these people were the fucking hippies. And now they 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 conformed them and worked them. They're hard workers. I'm not, I'm not saying they weren't, but I think a lot of them didn't really. Uh, they didn't know what they were doing, but they didn't really give to their 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 kids emotionally. They just they paid for them. And then now, a lot of females in this society, we're seeing it, expect men to make a certain amount of money because that's what their fathers did. And what they're seeing is a lot of men in the society just aren't. And, 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 and men like me, even if I had Andrew Tate money, I'm not gonna, I'm not, you know, I see, I see these women that expect and feel entitled to a certain lifestyle. I, I'm not paying for you. I, I'm not giving it to you. Um, like hypothetically, even if I had that type of type of the ability to to give them, I'm not giving them that. They don't like to me. They don't deserve it because they're, they're so entitled. I would rather a woman, um, which is which, which is hard to find, is build with me. And be there with me through the bad times and the good times. But in this society, I think it's just a lot easier for people to, instead of trying to make the relationship better, trying to rekindle that flame, trying to better yourself for yourself and your partner, it's just they just want to move on to the next person. and abandoning that that bond it's just weird I'm looking at pictures of my mom and dad together when I was a kid and it kind of pisses me off man it kind of pisses me off you know seeing them with me in a baby stroller at some type of park they went to giving each other a kiss kind of pisses me off I kind of just want to throw that shit away. Like, I don't want it. At one point, they cared about each other. You know what I mean? And it's like, why? Same, same with me and my, my, my wife, you know? It's like, why couldn't you make it work? And it sucks because one person, it takes two people to make things work. That's the problem. Relationships are hard, and I gotta get to work.